Hey guys, I am starting a new series of videos to help give you some craft room slash storage inspiration. Here's the room that I'm going to use. It is pretty tiny, but I also use my garage, so it's not so bad. I don't have anything really mapped out, but I'm going to take you along the journey and we will figure it out, right? We always do. So before we begin, let me clean up this mess. Okay guys, I removed all the stuff that was on the floor. Since my floor was concrete, I decided to try out peel and stick tiles. So I found these particular tiles on Macy's website. Who would have thought? Macy's? Not me. Um, so I purchased seven packs for my room, which was plenty. But if you wanted to try this out, make sure to measure your room first and determine how many packs of towels you will need. On the back of the pack, it tells you exactly how many packs of towels to purchase. Before I laid the towel down, I made sure the concrete was clean and free of any debris. I first sweeped the floor, then I vacuumed it, and then afterwards, I mopped it. You can use whatever method works for you as long as it's clean. Once the floor was dry, I measured the floor to determine the center point and then marked it with a pen. If you notice, the center mark that I created looks like a plus sign. By doing this, it helps me to know where to place the corner of the first four towels. To lay the towel, simply peel the sheet off the back of the towel. Then stick the towel on the floor, making sure the corner of the towel is parallel to the plus symbol mark that you created. Now I'm going to repeat the same process for the next towel. Before I forget, if you do decide to get a towel like this that has a pattern, make sure the pattern lines up before you stick the towel on the floor. Okay, I've laid down the towel in the center of the room. Now I'm going to work on cutting the towels that fit on the sides of the room. It's really simple to do. All you have to do is take one of the towels, place it exactly on top of the other towel, take another towel and line it against the wall. Next, take a pen and draw an outline where the two towels overlap. Next, take the towel that has the outline on it and place it on top of a cutting board or a piece of wood. Using a box cutter or a utility knife, cut along the outline. I use my ruler to help guide the knife. Now take the towel and bend it back and forth. It should break easily. If it doesn't, you may need to cut a little bit deeper on the line. Next, remove the sheet on the back of the towel and stick it on the floor. Okay, remember what the floor looked like before? Now look at it. Beautiful. Honestly guys, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be, plus the towels were inexpensive. So if you're looking for a budget friendly option, pill and stick towels is the way to go. If you wanna learn more about these particular towels, I will leave the link in the description box below. Be sure to come back next week to see the progress I made in the room. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a great week.